You know, when I read that John 20 text, I'm brought back to the Hebrew t tradition. There's a Hebrew tradition uh, of the master and servant. Say master and servant. There's a, a tradition when the master is eating dinner at his table, the servant will prepare his meal and, and he'll get everything together. And the servant would then go behind the master into a small room where he can peek out and watch the master and see how he's doing while he's eating. Well, ultimately, in this tradition, uh, what happens is, is that the master will eat. The master will eat his food. He'll, he'll get, uh, you know, eat all that he wants to eat. He'll drink his drink and he'll do what he does. And then when he's finished, what do you do when you're finished with your napkin? He'll crumble up the napkin and he'll put it on his plate. Now that is to show the servant that he's finished with his plate. However, think about this. When the master is not finished and he's going to leave the table but he's going to come back, what he does is he folds the napkin. Think about it. He folds the napkin. And so he folds, he folds the napkin. So think about this. Um, when the, when, the, uh, when the, the, the master sits down, he eats his food. He folds the napkin. What does that tell the servant? That tells him he's going to come back. And so the servant would clear the table, but he wouldn't clear the food. He wouldn't do anything else because he knows that the master is coming back. Well, think about this. When we read in that text in John 20, 1 through 7, the Bible says this. When he was laid in that tomb, when he got out of that tomb, it says, and the handkerchief used to cover his head, not lying with the linen cloth, but separate, was neatly folded by himself by itself so somebody ought to shout right there think about this then the napkin the handkerchief was folded for a reason see when Jesus left the tomb he left a sign for you and me that he is not finished with you yet he is coming back and just like in the ancient tradition just like the story of the master and the servant the master Jesus left us the same message when he left that folded linen that Peter witnessed. He's telling you today that I'm not finished with you yet. So we celebrate today because he's alive. We celebrate today because he lives. And because he lives, you can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. He wants to make sure that you know and believe in him that he'll never he'll never leave you and he'll never forsake you he's saying that nails didn't hold me to the cross but love did he's saying have faith because if you can only operate by sight you will never truly see what i can do he's saying when you feel like giving up just start looking up toward the hills from which cometh your help because your help cometh from the lord he says, I'm not finished. I didn't die just to keep you out of hell. He said, I died to keep the hell out of you. I came to give you life and life more abundantly. He's saying, sometimes when you're waiting on me and it gets too hard to stand, all you got to do is kneel and I'll answer your prayers. He's saying, I put dreams in your heart that are bigger than your ability so you will know that the only way it will come to pass is when you rely on me and only me. He's saying, I'm not done with you yet. No matter what you've been going through, if you feel like you're drowning, remember that your lifeguard walks on water. He's saying, I will not often show you what I plan to do until you do what I ask you to do. But don't worry. You can run out of a lot of things in this life. But there's one thing that you will not run out of. You can't run out of God's love. So what does that mean to me? What it means that the power behind you is greater than the task ahead of you. The God behind you is greater than the enemy that is trying to push you down. It's not about how you start. It's about how you finish. And here's the good news. Jesus folded the linen. So that tells us Jesus is not finished with you yet. For God says, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know the plans 
words I have for you declares the Lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope plans to give you a future what am I saying God has a future for you if God be for you who can be against you give God some praise today if God be for you who can be against you 